Okay, um, welcome to part two. Uh, what we're going to do now, uh, we're just going to take right where we left off for the sake of time. And uh, now we're ready to start applying the paint to the paint, uh, the actual layer itself. So what we'll do is uh, we're going to open up a picture that's a little more close up. And that kind of gives us an idea of where exactly the uh, the uh, the lines rest on the actual fuselage. Uh, so as we see here, we're going to do the light blue layer first, and we'll do the dark blue over top of the light blue. That will uh, allow us to uh, more precisely place a few things. Anyways, now we got that loaded, we're going to also open that uh, color layer. And uh, the best way to do it is right down here, you have your foreground color, you just click, left click on it. And uh, and all, all it comes up with a paint dropper. Left click in the light blue. Go to your background color. Left click in the dark blue. Now you have your foreground and background set up with the correct uh, KLM colors. Uh, I got these from um, going to the website and various photos, and that's about the best match I could find. Um, also, I was uh, reviewing the last video I made. And I'll talk while I'm doing this, and. Uh, I noticed that the quality of what you're seeing here is uh, worse than what it actually is. So don't worry about what you're seeing on the video. I mean, it's just that's just how it's going to be apparently. Uh, but you're looking at it on your screen as as I'm talking, so you can see that it really doesn't look that bad. Uh, what I did here, um, select the uh, square marquee tool. If it's not on that, if it has like a circle or something, just click left click and hold down and uh, it'll give you the uh, options here. Use the square. And uh, basically what we're going to do is uh, <clears throat> on our paint here layer, we're going to uh, paint the light blue part. And uh, we just want to make a big square of it, just like I have in the tutorial, uh, the, the text one. Uh, we're about as far down, about halfway into the where the dark blue is going to be. So, anyways, we got that selection done. Now, we're making sure we got paint here selected, I'm going to take the uh, paint bucket here. Also, it's also a gradient tool, but we want the paint bucket, and we'll left click there, and uh, and now we got our light blue. Hit Control D to deselect, and we're going to take our polygon. You have three different options, lasso, polygon, magnetic. We'll take the polygon, and we're going to get rid of this blue bit right here. So we'll just kind of, this is like a click, 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 click type of deal. You know, you click for your points, and then uh, when you get back to the end, you hit that little circle next to your icon and click on that. It'll create the selection. Just hit delete, because we need to leave that dark gray. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but I know it's important to leave it dark gray. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, trim up the tail here. So in line with this this part right here, just uh, doesn't have to be perfect because I'll I'll explain that later. But uh, just go ahead and just cut off the excess there. It can be up on the tail a little bit. That's okay. We'll get rid of it later. Uh, there's the shine layer showing through now. By the way, uh, you can adjust the the. Um, visualness of it basically uh, to make it shinier but uh, I think where it's at it's pretty good anyways we got that down what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make another layer so I uh, click the new layer button here by the little trash can or you can go to layer new and then layer however it is on your Photoshop most all photoshops have the new layer button here see so create a new layer and I just click that it makes a uh, layer one on top of the paint here layer and this is where we're going to do our dark blue line so we will go ahead and uh, make a, an, a selection area here for the dark blue line about the right thickness should go right to the base of the door there and uh, you can use your arrow your arrow keys up and down with while it's in selection mode and you can move that selection to fine tune it if you want. Uh, we'll look at our picture, just double check here. It's a little thick. Um, 
So instead of making a whole new selection, uh, the best way to do it is right click inside of your selection, go to transform selection, make sure you're using that one and not that one. Transform selection, what it does is it puts a solid box around it and you'll get the, uh, the little double arrows. Basically you just click hold down and drag it down a little bit to where you're happy with it. We'll put it there and just hit enter and that'll uh, that'll fix it. So now we're going to paint the dark blue. So we're already layer one selected on top of our light blue. I'm going to change the uh, click this little curved arrow here that will make dark blue our foreground our foreground color. Paint bucket and voila. Control D to deselect. Now we have our uh, our base paint. Now we're ready to apply logos. Um, so, got a little extra time here. Got four more minutes here. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to measure up uh, for your the best way to measure up for the vector logos. If you look here, KLM's logo starts on the one, two, three, fourth window, even with the edge. It covers a span of four windows and is even with the fifth window. So take your selection tool, count one, two, three, four, up to the edge of the fourth, span one, two, three, four windows, even with the fifth. And uh, this is the width our logo needs to be. So what we'll do is uh, we'll select our paint here layer because it's light blue underneath. Control C to copy, Control D to get rid of that selection. And uh, go to Control N for new and that tells you right there our logo needs to be 116 pixels wide so what we'll do is uh, just hit cancel to get rid of that go to open go to the KLM uh, EPS file that you've either downloaded or uh, that is supplied with this tutorial hit OK or open um, change it from inches to pixels and we're going to set it to 116. Hit OK. It's going to open a new layer with our KLM logo on it. So we're going to Control A, select all, Control C to copy it, and we are going to Control V to paste it in. It's not showing up because it's the same color blue as that. So what we have to do, uh, our new lay, uh, logo is right here, layer number two. It, uh, it'll be highlighted automatically when you paste it in. So you double click it, go to uh, layer, layer styles, go to color overlay, and set it to white. Right there. And make sure it's 100%. Hit OK. And now we have a KLM logo. One, two, three, four window, even with the fifth. And uh, let's look at your picture here. See about the height it is above the windows. Always use your windows as reference because uh, John did a really good job at getting the windows where they should be. So it should steer you pretty well on uh, on where they should go. Um, it's going to be a little high because uh, you may get into some stretching on top of the fuselage. But if you look here, this top line here is even with the bottom of the cross. So what I always do is here's that top line here. So hit Control T. To free transform this logo, grab the top here with the double arrow and just drag it down to the top. And double click inside or hit enter. And uh, there you go. Now you have a KLM logo installed. And uh, we'll go ahead and stop this tutorial right here. And um, we'll pick up with adding text and uh, how to work with the text tools, uh, add flags, things like that, things that aren't vector based. And uh, Anyways, uh, until then, we'll catch you on the next one.